Hello and welcome to the Calculator Guide video on vital calculator skills for GCSE Maths Ratio app. We are going to be using the Ratio app in this video. I'm doing this on a Casio Classwiz 83 or 85 GTCW model, but you can follow along if you have any model of Casio Classwiz that has the Ratio app available. So there's many different models that will. This video is going to be relevant to you. We're going to be doing GCSE Maths questions in this video. Just a reminder that this isn't the only method that you can use to answer these questions. These are just a method for which you can use the Ratio app. And a second reminder too, that these may not get all or any of the marks that are available in a GCSE maths exam. You've got to read the question very carefully to see if you need to show you're working. But even so, if you do need to show you're working, they are a great check or verifying tool as well. So let's get on with the first question. 70% of a number is 84. What is the number? From home or menu, we're going to select ratio. There's two different options here. The left hand side of the equal sign where we have A and B represents the ratio that we know both sides. So this is usually maybe a percentage or a fraction and then an amount. So where we can link the two together. And then on the right hand side of the equals is where we have the unknown part. So that can appear on the left hand side or on the right hand side of the ratio where the X is written depending on how we want it displayed and the context of the question. Now, typically I tend to use the bottom one, although in this video I will switch between the two to show how it can work in terms of different questions. But for this particular question, we're going to select the bottom option, A to B equals C to X. We're prompted for the inputs here. Automatically it pre-populates it with a one. What we're going to do is link the percentage that we have and the amount that we have. On the left-hand side here, I'm going to input the percentage. So in this case, 70%. Now you don't have to input the percentage sign here if you don't want to, provided that what you input on the left-hand side of the other ratio is also a percentage, and it will be in this case. So I'm just going to input 70 here. And then on, on the right-hand side, I'm going to link that with the amount that we're given. So in this question, that's 84. 70% is 84 in terms of the amount. On the right hand side of the equals we've got the left hand part of the ratio there well how do we represent the whole original number well that's a hundred percent so we're just going to input a hundred here press execute and then execute for a final time to process that we can see x equals 120 now x is our original number so what is the number it's 120. Now to clear this out, what we can do is to press AC, which returns us to the input screen, and then AC a second time, which will clear us back to default if you want to. You can overwrite your figures if you prefer, but I'm just going to clear that out. Let's take a look at the second question. The price of a pair of shoes increases by 8% to £81. Work out the original price of the shoes. Let's think how we can represent an increase by 8%. Well, that would be 100% of the original price plus an additional 8%. So we can input that as 108. On the left-hand side, I'm just keeping that as a percentage. You can, of course, input that as 1.08 if you prefer to input that as a decimal. Then we're going to link that with the price. So in this case, that's 81. On the left-hand side here, well, we want to input the original price, that's represented by 100%, or if you just use the decimal, you can just keep it as the default of one. So we'll input 100 as I'm using a percentage, press execute one more time to process, and here we have the original price, 75 pounds. AC twice again to reset. Let's take a look at the next question. 15 watches cost 525 pounds. Work out the cost of 28 of these watches. The ratio as we've got it set up is perfect for this question. We'll have watches on the left hand side and we'll have price on the right hand side. 15 in the first cell there is 525 pounds. Execute to scroll across 28, execute and then execute again, will cost 980 pounds. Very good example there of how simple and straightforward this can be. And once again, AC twice to reset. The next one is a conversion, in this case, between kilometers and miles. And again, we just want to double check that we've got the ratio the correct way around here. We have got 
kilometers, both in terms of the conversion, eight kilometers to five miles, and we've got the kilometer amount, 15.6. So we're gonna have kilometers on the left-hand side as the ratio is written. Let's say we had miles and we wanted to convert to kilometers. We've got two choices. Either we can swap the ratio as it's written, which we just need to be very careful of, or we need to go back to the entry screen and change to the first option. We'll be doing that with the next question, but I like to keep things on the same side as they're written in the question. It just makes things nice and straightforward. So we've got kilometers on the left, eight kilometers and five miles. And on the ratio we're trying to find, 15.6 kilometers on the left, execute twice. We've got the miles here. It's written in fraction form, 39 over four, but if we go to format, and then decimal, we can get the decimal answer here, 9.75 miles. AC twice, clear that out. So in this question, we've got to write 45 to 18 in the form N to one. You can see the unknown part of the ratio is on the left-hand side. So to keep things as they're written in the question, we're just going to exit out by pressing return here and go back into ratio app. And we're just gonna select the first option here. On the calculator, the unknown is represented with an X. Obviously, we're using that as a substitute for N in the question that we have. We'll input the known ratio on the left-hand side of the equals there, 45 to 18 equals X or N to one. Well, it's already got a one in there, so we can just press execute here. And here we have the value of X or N, five over two. And once again, we can press format and decimal to give that as the decimal answer, 2.5. Next question here, an amount of money is shared in the ratio three to six to nine. The largest share is 540 pounds. Calculate the smallest share. Now, this is a, a one of the three part ratios that we can actually do, even though we only have two shares in the way that we input the ratio. I'm just gonna exit back out, return back out here and select the second option here. It suits the question this way around. We're just going to link, well, the largest share is 500 pounds. 40 pounds, the actual largest share of the ratio is nine parts. So nine parts is equivalent to 540 pounds. And then the smallest share was three parts. So three parts, execute, execute is the equivalent of 180 pounds. If we're very careful and we read the question correctly, we can use this with aspects of three share ratios or three way ratios, AC and AC. We've got two similar triangles in this one. Now I'm going to show you two ways in which you can answer this question. Some of the previous questions could have been done in this variation, but it, it highlights it best with the uh, similar triangles that we've got here, the way that you can input that. And the first way, I'm going to use it as it's set up here with the unknown X on the right-hand side. What I'm going to input on the left-hand side of the equals are the two known sides. So we know the base of these triangles. So I'm gonna input that as a ratio here, 25 on the large triangle, 15 on the small triangle, equals, remember the enlarged triangle is the one on the left-hand input, which is 19, equals X, which they've given here as a fraction, 57 over five, format and decimal, 11.4 is the equivalent side on the smaller triangle, so that's the value of A. A different way that we could have approached this, still using the ratio app, is if we return out and select the first option from ratio, what we can do is we can import the known values from the first triangle. As we're reading left to right, the left-hand side of the triangle is 19, the base of the triangle is 25, equals the unknown side of the smaller triangle labeled with an A, we're using X for that, to the ratio of the base, which is 15. So you can see here, if I just pause here a moment, how that's set up, we've got the larger triangle on the left-hand side, the smaller triangle on the right-hand side, written very similar to how we're reading it left to right. And we can process it like this, press execute twice. We can see we've got the same answer, 57 over five, decimal equivalent 11.4. AC twice, and we're on to the final question here. We need to be careful in terms of how you input and read an answer. I'll show you two ways of doing this. The slightly better way will be the second way. 
Michael packs boxes at a constant rate. It takes him nine minutes to pack 75 items. How long does it take him to pack 255 items? Give your answer in minutes and seconds. So I'm going to use the ratio as it is with the unknown on the left hand side. That's going to represent the minutes and the right hand side is going to represent the number of items. So nine minutes can produce 75 items. We want to know the minutes for producing 255 items. Press execute twice. You can see we've got the fraction here. Now what I'm going to use is the sexagesimal, which is the uh, hours, minutes and seconds format. If I scroll down and press execute. Now we've got to be careful with the way that we read this here. Now the correct answer is 30 minutes, 36 seconds. But you could interpret that as being 30 hours, 36 minutes. That's because the calculator can't differentiate between how we've inputted the first figure that we did, the nine minutes. So if we're just pressing the conversion to hours, minutes and seconds, it will interpret a whole number decimal as being in hours, the highest denomination of the unit there. So provided you're comfortable with knowing, well, that's going to be 30 minutes and 36 seconds, it'd be unrealistic for the answer to be 30 hours, 36 minutes, then that's okay. But perhaps a better way of inputting that would be to input your original minutes using the hours, minutes and seconds button. So to input it as zero hours and then nine minutes by pressing that button, it's shift and plus on this calculator. On previous models, there was a dedicated button, which you may still have on your model. Press execute twice again to process and format sexagesimal. And here we have perhaps in the more appropriate format, no hours, 30 minutes, 36 seconds. So you just have to be super careful if you're using the conversion there between minutes and seconds. Once again, you are just checking that your answer is realistic as well. 30 hours was not realistic considering it was nine minutes for 75 items. So there we go. A number of questions that you can answer using the ratio app. It's certainly not an exhaustive list. There are many other ways that you can use the ratio app to help you answer questions in your examination, whether that's the GCSE examination or many others. Don't forget to like and also subscribe for future videos. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you next time on The Calculator Guide.